Back home, champion jockey Darren Beedman has risen, ridden his last race. He's giving up silks for the cloth, and the Sydney racegoers today gave him a rousing send-off as he heads for life in the Born Again Ministry. He's become the antithesis of the colourful racing identity. The 32-year-old jockey swapping his silks for the cloth. D-Day, delightful day. After 17 years, two Melbourne Cups and more than a thousand other winners, Darren Beedman steeled himself for his very last ride. Well, I feel quite excited about it, really. Um, you know, I really feel that it's going to be a, um, a real memorable day. Thousands of fans made sure of that, mobbing their Tom Cruise look-alike idol from the moment he arrived. I think he's beautiful, and to give up what he's given up, all their millions, to go into the church when he deserves it. It's what he wants to do. Every Australian's right to do what they want to do. He's not the first champion to walk away at the peak of his career, and he won't be the last. But there's something about the Beedman style that's left no doubt who the favourite was at Randwick today. Go, go. And go he did, but winning only the first of his last three rides. I love you all, and I... I really, I've really treasured every, every moment that I've had here at Randwick and in my racing career. And if I had it all over again, I wouldn't change it. And there ended the lesson. A brilliant career over and a new beginning. John Collis, Seven Nightly News. Well, more sport next with Mark Beretta and Mark, a brave stand by the middle order saves the Aussies. Yes, Mitch, a top order collapse almost saw South Africa take the upper hand, but a Steve War, Ricky Ponting stand has Australia hanging in. All the highlights after the break.